What is up, you guys? It's Bolt98, and in this video, we have tons to talk about. Tons of information. Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2 information. We got guns, we got haunting events, we got new nukes, we got text messages from Activision themselves telling me to talk about all this. Yes, Activision has been sending out tons of texts and even phones to select content creators, and we even have a clip to see one of those content creators swag get his phone. Oh, oh, what's, what's that? that? What's that? Well done, wiring money now. Damn. <laughs> Whoa. You've shown your loyalty. You might be ready for what's coming. So basically, Activision sent out phones, and the money that he's talking about are gifted subs. So if they completed their task, they got gifted subs. I think it was 50 gifted subs. But this is not limited to just them. No, we won't get our own challenges, but if you go text that number that showed up on the beginning or that you see here, 202-918-3022, you can get Activision to text you. I did it. I had some fun with it earlier. If you don't want to do it, you can see that I've done it. It's completely okay. Uh, data rates and text messages apply, but they don't go any further. I think it's the same text for everyone, but you saw that image. That image is very special, and here it is here. Um, basically, I believe this is the observatory on the Almazar map, and it kind of marks out like six or seven different locations on the side of this observatory so we don't really know what's going on there not too much details but that is all they send you going, now going back to that phone that wasn't the only thing they sent they also have certainly confirmed slide canceling slide cancel is almost certain to return because in the teaser pack they compared a pair of slides a can and a cell phone slide can sell so you can kind of like put it together if you want. Uh, if not, then you can still be a doubter. I'm just pretty sure that this is a fun way they had to say slide cancel is coming back, which is a big deal among content creators of Warzone. But let me know your thoughts on that. Now we go over to our Modern Warfare 3. We have 30 weapons here that are confirmed to be in Modern Warfare 3 and their images. If you want to pause and take a look at that, go ahead. But sticking with our reveal event topic here, we go back and we actually know what the announcement slash like event thing is going to look like it's going to look like this is a missile incoming missile or launching missile um, notification that pops up in game we can also confirm that the m13c will be unlocked through our events yes so if you see this header here it is going to be unlocked doing the siege event challenges which we can only believe now we have a name for this reveal event called the siege event so this is super cool and now we have more information sticking with the warzone theme we're going to look at a new thing coming in october which also kind of confirms season six will happen it is data miners have found references to another haunting event that is coming in warzone should be around season six which we know should be dropping in september or the close to the end of September, I think it was September 13th or 15th, that Season 5 would end and Season 6 would pick up, which is huge news because that does keep mean that content is going to be fresh for us because you don't have a new game coming out to November 10th. Yes, we'll have betas in October, I think, 6th and 8th or 6th in the weekend after the 6th, which is like the 12th, um, but we won't actually have a new full game full of new content until November 10th. Yes, that is the release date for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So yeah, we'll have the betas and yeah, we'll have all this other fun stuff. But I'm one of those people, if I'm not playing a game, like if I play a beta one weekend, that doesn't keep me, you know, laser focused and ready for that new game. If I'm not constantly playing the old one or playing a beta until the new one comes out. I got to play something to keep me, you know, riled up and going. And maybe, who knows, they'll add more and more stuff leaking Modern Warfare 3 through Warzone, DMZ, or even multiplayer. I also cannot wait to see what type of skins we get as far as Halloween goes. You know, we had Scream that one time, and he was really cool. I hope they bring back in Modern Warfare 3 the emotes because those were huge in Modern Warfare 1 where you had Scream, like, kind of, you know, pull out a can, drink it or something, and then you also had uh, the guy pull out a scorpion, eat it. That could have been Cold War also. I'm not 100% sure on which one it was. I just know those were also really cool to have and cool things to see like whenever i watch warzone clips and i see that little skull come out or the dude drinks a can or something really cool i like that that was awesome but let me know down below some wish things that you have for modern warfare 3 that you want to see i'll see you in the next one peace out thank you so much for all the support remember to drop a like subscribe and don't forget to share the video if you think it was good enough i'll see you in the next one peace